Hello! Today I would like to demonstrate a finished bone multilink feature. This feature allows to link uh, complex shapes uh, to the bone with uh, just a single click. This feature was developed uh, for a long time already and uh, for certain reasons it's um, got finished um, only now. So uh, here we have a character and uh, we will try to uh, link his uh, leg to the skeleton, this leg. Okay, so first of all we will need a skeleton, so we right click on the layer, choose new layer, other and uh, skeleton. Here we have a skeleton layer and uh, well, let's uh, transform our character. Let's make a closer look like this to his leg. Okay. And uh, since we have transformed this group, uh, the skeleton and the group uh, and the group contents uh, now reside in the different transformation spaces. Uh, so things uh, will not work well, R will not work correctly in this case. So we need to put skeleton in the same transformation space as the uh, group contents which we will be linking to it. So we place it skeleton inside of this group. Okay, now we can configure this bone for this part of the image. The automatic linking uh, is defined by the bone influence area. We can set bone influence area uh, by using the width handles, which we can enable here. Just click on this button. So we have with handles appeared and we can configure bone to uh, to cover the particular part of the image obviously it will be like this okay now we are going to create and next bone, so I am just right click on the bone tip and choose uh, create child bone. Here I have a new bone created. Uh, you can see that uh, it have inherited the width of the parent bone, which is uh, quite useful. And now I am going to place it and uh, configure its influence area. Like this. And uh, now we will need one more bone for foot. So right click, create child bone and let's place it like this. Okay, I can change the opacity for the skeleton. This will be a bit more comfortable. Okay, so we have a character leg covered by the bone uh, influence area. Let's put uh, a skeleton 
a few layers down so it will uh, get out of our way like this and uh, let's see how the leg is uh, defined the leg is defined by two groups this one and this one each uh, group contains many elements uh, with many points so first of all I am going to link a first group a, f a, content a contents of first group to the skeleton I need to select all, uh, all the elements inside of this group so I just right click on it and choose select all child layers and now I have all child layer layers selected. Now I need to select all points of those layers. So I just uh, go to work area and hit Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all. So I've got all points selected. Uh, now I also need to select a skeleton layer itself. So I hold Ctrl key on the keyboard and uh, click on the skeleton layer so the skeleton layer is uh, added to selection and the selected points <laughs> well and the points remain selected at the same time uh, so now I can link those selected points to the skeleton I'm just uh, well let's disable this I'm just uh, right click on any skeleton point and choose link to skeleton okay now we have uh, all those points linked to the to the skeleton let's uh, see if uh, the rig uh, works correctly Let's get to the skeleton layer and move it. Well, uh, this is pretty much okay. Uh, of course, uh, the shape is distorted here, is much distorted, but um, we have uh, two tricks here. First of all, we can uh, move the bone origin, and this we, c we can get uh, desirable results. And uh, second, we can edit the points, link it to the skeleton and uh, make them place it as we want. So, okay, now let's, uh, I'm pressing Ctrl Z to undo my changes because we still need to link a foot to the skeleton. So I repeat the process for this group. I'm doing the same, just uh, selecting everything inside by right clicking on the group and choosing select all layers. Then I go to work area and press Ctrl A. So I have all points selected. I also can use a, a rectangle selection to select just some of the points but in this case I need all of them to be selected then I'm holding control on keyboard and uh, left uh, clicking with the left mouse button on the skeleton so I've got a skeleton selected and uh, now since I have all points selection remaining I can right click on any skeleton uh, point and choose link to skeleton okay so I have uh, its uh, link it now let's see if uh, it's linked it correctly let's try to well
I think this is pretty much fine. Can tune. Okay, this is how uh, the bone multilink feature work. I hope you like it. Uh, this feature is uh, already available uh, in our regular development snapshots, which you can download on Synfig uh, website and uh, try uh, by yourself. So this is all what I wanted to demonstrate today, thank you for watching and goodbye.